What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a really exciting video for y'all today. Today we're gonna be heading out with my buddy Jeff from Crappie Magnet and Trout Magnet uh, to go do some wade fishing in some flooded woods. If you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that I visited this area about a month ago, uh, earlier in the springtime, early in the spawning season. And uh, we caught quite a few crappie, but it really wasn't super fire like they kept saying that the place was going to be so today we're heading back out there to go try our luck at some more of those spawning crappie out there wading through this jungle of flooded trees it's a really cool spot uh, excited to get out there and hopefully catch some big ones so if y'all are excited to tune into this one do me a huge favor hit thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and let's get out there in those flooded woods and see how many slabs we can put on the stringer let's go yeah right here on these trees right here i think it'd be a, i think that i think that's a money spot Oh, got him. There we go. First fish. <laughs> on the board. Quick and dirty style on these cypress knees. It's a lot greener out here than the last time we were here. This big, gigantic cypress tree. It's got knees coming out like 30 feet away from it on all sides. And we're just popping these little crappie magnets right next to them. Not a bad one. Probably like an 11 and a half inch or maybe. But we're going to string them up and get going. There he is. Second fish on the board. Now I need to let some more line out. There we go. Another nice little crappie out here in these woods. About the same length as the other one, but a little bit scrawnier. These fish are definitely stunted out here. That's why we're keeping a bunch of them. Got two fish on there. I guess he's a little bit smaller. But we're going to get back out there and see if we can get another one. Might be moving to another spot here in just a second. Oh, geez. There he is. Jeff's on the board, smoking right off the same tree. Was that the tree same tree, tree. Huh? same tree. Did you catch any over there, Ernest? Alright, we're gonna keep moving now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, well, I just missed, I've lost two right here. Yeah, I got them here. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. Fish number three for me. It's a little bit darker. Really nice looking black crappie. Um, I'm actually fishing a big old honey locust tree right here. We The first ones we caught were coming off of uh, some cypress. String my third one up right here. The other one's white crappie or black crappie? Let me see. The other ones were white crappie. That's my first black crappie of the day. You see it's dark uh, spawning colors. Gotcha. Gotcha. I missed him a couple times, but I got him this time. He's kind of a tiny dude, so we're just going to send him back. Little tiny baby. There he is. There he is. That's my biggest of the day right there. We found ourselves another big lone cypress tree. We're kind of, it's, it's kind of what we're looking for, these big standout trees, whether it be cypress or honey locusts or big maples or just whatever. And um, it seems to be holding the fish. We got a hard bottom. We got cypress knees just littered all out here in front of us. And that's the biggest fish. There we go. Another little one. Whew, there's my second one off this tree. I can catch them all on the orange and chartreuse crappie magnet. That's the isom colored. And I've got a pink head on there. And he's a little small guy. I'm going to send him back. There we go. Come up here. Another one off this tree. This is dark, spawning, white crappie. Got a big old giant mouth, dark fins, beautiful fish. Got him. Got me a little money hole right here. Back to back cast right there, guys. Oh my gosh, what the 
catfish or is that bass? I think it's a grill. That's a catfish. Oh, God. Smashed it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He thumped it hard. <laughs> All right. Muggy there. Look at that chunky sucker right there. It's a nice channel cat. You know, I wish it was a crappie. He's probably about three pounds. He's thick and healthy. Probably been here trying to munch some crappie or some baby crappie or something. Oh, Jeff just set the hook on something. But he, we, I swapped up. I put a little bigger jig on there. I got an eye hole from Jeff. That's an eighth ounce. We got it filled up with some slab bites. Still throwing this orange chartreuse ice some colored. But this time, we got ourselves a nice little channel cat. Mr. Whiskers, right where the crappie should be. We haven't caught any crappie by this tree, so I think we're actually going to move. But still a cool catch and fun to catch on this jigging rod. We're going to send him back. Okay guys, we found ourselves another nice hole. It's actually a big old lay down tree and there's a big stump right here. There's my first fish from it. We're gonna get back in there. I think there's more Jeff's called a catfish. Do a quick little stringer check. Got a few nice ones on there. I think we got like six or seven on there. Looking pretty good. Hopefully we add several more right here. Here we go. Oh. Oh, way another one. Oh no, we lost him. We're kind of just making our way up here to this next big cypress tree. Kind of poking around in these bushes. I think I should know he stoned that thing. And then that's a little crappie. We got another one. We were thinking we were gonna catch him off these trees right here, but there's a bush right here next to him, and he came out of the bush. A little better fish. All of the slab. Redemption. Got another big cypress tree with a bunch of knees on it. Got ourselves another nice slab. That's one of my bigger ones of the day right there. He's still kind of skinny, but he'll eat. Yes. <laughs> oh man, look how much line I have out. <laughs> I've got like probably 18 inches of line out right there. Just stuck it in between these big group of trees. That's another good one for me though right there. <laughs> right there beside the tripod. Ain't that cool? Look at there, another nice slab crappie. Uh, I got this big cypress tree over here on my left. Um, it's in pretty shallow water, so I didn't catch a thing on it. But there could be some knees where I just sat that down by these bushes. But another really nice solid crappie. We've got some good fish. I don't know how many are on here. Let me pull this thing up and show you guys these fish again. I'm catching them pretty steadily. Nothing like super crazy, but I mean, that's a good string right there, guys. That looks good to me, at least. I mean, a good mess of fish. The last time I was here, the ones that I caught weren't as big as these on average, so doing a lot better this time than I did last time. Again, I probably got 15 on there, maybe, maybe, maybe 20? I don't know, probably 15. But it's a good string of crappie for dang sure. Did 
y'all see that? <laughs> oh man. I've got like 10 inches of line out and I'm just sliding it up underneath that maple tree. It's got a bunch of leaves on it. He ain't very big. I'm gonna throw him back, but that was just a fun little bike ride. I'm gonna slide it back under there and see if we can catch another one. We're coming up on this levee right here on my right. On the other side of it is a really big cypress tree with a lot of knees. And there's a good chance we can catch some crappie there, but I'm gonna make a few more pitches at this tree first. That's a nice one there. Nice Chomped fish. it. Chomped it. Nice fish. Do y'all see that jig? I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't see it. That is like the most chomped I have seen a crappie jig in a while. I right, some crappie magnet. I hold jig filled with slab bites. And he gobbled it all the way back there to the crushers. And that's one of my biggest ones of the day too. He's got really good colors. Up in there, that day. there he is. There's at least one more. His you see his bottom fins all fanned up like he's fanning. Beautiful. We were thinking that there was only one in this spot, but there is at least two. There's also at least two less. Both of them though were really dark colored up males though. Yeah, that has a six in it. The new oh gosh, you got one. Yeah. yeah. Go. Two trees in a row. I like having room to swim it. <laughs> yeah, you bet. To pitch out and let it swim back to me. Everything we've been fishing up, up until now has been really tight, yeah. really bushy. There's some tight stuff up here, but it's nice when you get a couple of crappie on some outside trees with some room to work. Oh, gosh. That's big, whatever it is. I think it's not a catfish. It's a catfish. <laughs> it's a catfish. Come here. Whiskered guy. That's a nice one. Whiskered guy on the crappie magnet. Crappie magnet catches everything. Especially when you got the nibbles in there. Look at there. No nice whiskered fish. I put them on my stringer, but I think today I'm gonna be a purist. Just keep the slabs, just keep the crappie. These guys start swirling around and get hung up in the brush. So we'll just send Mr. Whiskers back. Woo. Oh, you missing? Yeah. Did you? Oh no. Yep. Yeah, same fish. I got flesh four times there. There's probably more than one. Must be. Right, there's gotta be more than one right there. I don't think so, but sometimes they don't know what's biting them. There he is, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> so we just came back over here to where we've started at. We haven't been here. It's been about four hours since we've actually been here. But uh, it seems like the fish are still wanting to bite. Look at that. Good fish. Okay. Got us another big slab. String them up. That stringer's getting big. <laughs> that's a little. It's a little hefty. A little, a little hefty. All right, guys, so we've been out here for about six hours, maybe maybe more, I don't even know. Time time just flies by when you're out here waiting in these woods catching all these slabs, but guys, we, we got them pretty good. Check out my stringer. This is all that I caught. Minus one, Jeff put one of them on there. Look at that. That is a healthy stringer of crappie. There's a bunch of them. They're mostly white crappie. Got a few black crappie on there. And so we caught all these fish today on the crappie magnet. I was catching them all in this color. This is isom. This is an orange and chartreuse color. And we were using the eye hole jigs. They're really cool. They're hollowed out and you can shove your favorite scent in there. I was using the uh, crappie magnet slab bites in there. Really deadly combo out here. This water's muddy. They can see that jig and really we're just putting it right on top of their heads. And then as far as the rod and reel combo goes, I was using the eight foot ACC crappie sticks. Um, honestly, I was kind of wishing I had a little bit longer rod, like maybe like a nine or 10 footer, but the eight footer, um, really got the job done in a pinch. You know, it's, it's so tight in these places, so you want that shorter rod. Um, in some places where you have a little more open area, you know, a, a longer rod is better. But I decided to go with the 8 foot instead of a 10 or 11 foot today. And uh, obviously, it worked out okay because we've got a stringer full of fish. But anyways, we're going to hike on out of here. The sun is starting to set. We can see it kind of going down through these trees. And the biting gnats are at us again. They've been biting me everywhere that I've been across the state the last week and a half or so. I've just been getting lit up. I don't even know how I still have ears or a neck and just keep 
they're just eating me alive, guys. It sucks. But it's just kind of the price you pay of fishing this time. You got to catch the fish, but you're also going to catch some bugs. And even if you have bug spray on, like I do, they're still going to bite you. But anyways, we're going to get on out of here. We're going to get these fish back to the house, get them on some ice, and we're going to clean them and we're going to eat them. And that's where we'll pick up this video. Okay, we made it back here to the house. We're in the kitchen and we are about to cook up our catch from yesterday. I got them all cleaned up just a few hours ago and they look really, really good in the bowl and we're going to be frying them up in the skillet and they're gonna be amazing. I already know. Take a look at these fish here in the bowl. That thing is full. I had 27 on my stringer, which is a little bit more than I thought I had. I threw back a few, threw back some catfish. One of those fish on my stringer was Jeff's. So all in all, pretty good day. Um, we're gonna be frying them in just some straight up yellow cornmeal. I've got some uh, some Slacky Mama mixed in there. And then we're gonna be frying them in this little skillet. I have a little bit of oil. I thought I had more oil than that, but hopefully it'll be enough to get the job done. These were some pretty skinny fish, so the fillets aren't like super massive and thick, but they should be tasty. I mean, look how white and flaky those boys look. I think they're gonna be good. I haven't had fried fish in a minute, so I'm excited to get this process underway. Okay, the fish are in the bag. We're gonna give it a nice jostling around. It's kind of hard with one hand. I need my tripod, but this will work. For those of y'all that maybe haven't ever fried fish before, I'm sure most of y'all have, but if you haven't, this is definitely the best way to get a good even coat on your fish. If you want them extra, extra crunchy, you can dip them like in a in a, a mix of egg or some milk or something, but you know, these fish, they came out of a wet bowl, just kind of shook the water off so they're damp. You want them to be a little bit damp. So it all stick on there real good, but as y'all can probably see, some of those fillets in there, they're all evenly battered up. Um, oftentimes you'll want to maybe do the double dipping thing if you're, you know, frying up some thicker fish, but those are some little skinny guys, like I said. But anyways, this right here should be warmed up. We got a watermelon. We got some watermelon over there to go with our fish. It should be delicious. I think our oil's about heated up. There's not a lot in there. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're rigged and ready. Let's go ahead and add some of these fish to the, to the pan to the skillet. Oh, we got just enough oil in there. Put them on one side, then we'll flip them over. It's gonna be great. Ooh -wee. Oh, I knew it was about to happen. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on these guys. We're gonna flip them whenever it's necessary, and then we're gonna transfer them onto paper towel. All right, they look good, doing transfer. A little sketchy with just the fork, but like I said, these guys are not very big. And they're all crunched over and looking delicious. Look at that. Three, four. That one right there starts to cook a little bit, and I think I have one more in the bag, but those four right there look phenomenal. And just like that, guys, dinner is Sir, we have ourselves a fried fish sandwich featuring little baby slabs, got some Old Bay hot sauce, we got two pickles, one for each filet, some toasted white bread. We're doing white bread today because that's all we had, but it should be good. And then as a side, we also have two more baby slabs. And I think that's gonna be delicious. I think it's gonna be the fuel that I need to get through the rest of the day. And I just can't wait to try it out. I know it's gonna be fresh, I know it's gonna be good. But how good is it? Let's find out. How would y'all rate that sandwich? I'd probably give it like a six out of 10, honestly. There could be a lot more going on with it, but taste-wise, it'll still probably be 10 out of 10. Let's go. Okay, so where do we start? Do we start with the filet or the sandwich? I think I'm gonna start with the sandwich. And uh, hopefully there's not any wind muffling all this right here. It is quite breezy out here on the lake today. It's blowing straight in on us. Oh shoot, don't fall apart. Stay together. But here we go. Look at that. It's simple, but it should be super fire. Let's go in for the taste. Thumbs up. I think that would be a best seller at the uh, the Colin J food truck. You know, we've been talking about that for a while. I'm not sure if it'll ever happen, but if it does, I promise you, we will have Slabby Patties on the menu. And that right there is good. But we'll make it a little bit fancier. We'll let you build it the way you want to have better buns we won't just do the white bread but hey don't hate don't hate on the white bread the white bread's good cypress likes the white bread that's why we have it but that sauce is money the fillets are money pickles are money 
And so I'm gonna take a bite of just this brand, brand not random, it's just this little regular filet. It's golden brown, I know a lot of y'all probably cook it this way, just season the straight up cornmeal, there's a little bit of sloppy mom mixed in, like I said. Mm. Tastes almost as good as my Meemaw's fried fish, but not as good. I know she's probably watching this. My Meemaw makes the best fried fish. I don't know how she does it. She literally does it the exact same way. I think it's a little bit of love, or a lot of love goes into it, but she makes the best fish. Definitely gonna have to go and I have her cook us up some more fish just because it's, it's delicious. But that right there is good. That is really good for a skinny old flooded woods crappie. Um, dang good. I love catching crappie in the spring, hoping to get back out and do some more crappie fishing before the springtime ends. Now I'm also looking forward to chasing after some other species. We've been kind of neglecting a lot of the other species that we like to target this time of year, especially especially the largemouth or just the bass in general. I've I've been going out, I've been doing a lot of bass fishing, but I just haven't done a whole lot of filming with them. Um, but I definitely need to change that. The last time I like, really seriously went hardcore bass fishing was the last kayak tournament that I fished a couple weeks ago. But I also have a kayak tournament coming up this Saturday that I hopefully we will be able to catch some fish at. But until then, you're gonna stick with the panfish, the bluegill, the red ear, the crappie. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna end today's episode. Thank you all so much for tuning into this one. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun fishing out there, and it's just it's always fun to fish for fish that you love to fish for in a you know in a more unique way that being the waiting with the jig poles but if y'all found it entertaining or enjoyed it or got something from it be sure to give this video thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next one bye guys